all right y'all we are back with another video and we got one of my favorites man we got charlie kirk and y'all know how Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens go to these colleges and be challenging like the, these uh, college students and stuff like that. My only problem is like with the college student, I just don't like the way they be disrespecting Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens trying to make them seem like they don't know anything. And then not to take away from some of the college students, some of them might be smart, this and that, but it's just they, they arrogance, they attitude that they have with it. You know what I'm saying? Just like the last video that Candace Owens, uh, when she went to a college, how they were getting smart with her, talking about Candace, you don't know what you talk. How can you tell somebody like Candace Owens, she don't know what she's talking about? How can you tell somebody like Charlie Kirk that that, that he don't know what he's talking about? It, it's just be, it's just crazy to me. It's just a lot of these college students, they just they, they get out of hand. They, I mean, I'm telling, they just out of control. And it's crazy. So, I mean, you shouldn't treat nobody like Charlie Kirk like that when somebody's trying to help you and teach you and somebody like Candace Owens that also try to help you and teach you. So we're going to check this one out. We uh, we got this one that's called uh, Charlie Kirk Lee's Woke Gender Activist in Tears. Wow. So we're going to dive straight into it, y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments. In the comment section, I also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time. I appreciate all of you. And uh, please stay to the end. Let me know who all watched the entire video. I would really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's dive straight in, y'all. Let's go. So my question is about what you said earlier about um, Justice Kentaji Brown's uh, Jackson's qualifications for the Supreme Court and how you mentioned that. Uh, she was unable to uh, define what a woman is, and I'd like to compare that to um, Justice Barrett. So uh, Justice Jackson went to a public high school, attended an Ivy League law, law school, um, clerked for the Supreme Court, was a public defender, uh, served on the sentencing commission, was a district judge, and served on the Court of Appeals. And um, as for um, Justice Barrett, she was a Supreme Court clerk, and uh, she also sat in court of appeals. And when um, she was being questioned by the Senate during her confirmation, she uh, was asked to, to name the freedoms of the First Amendment, which um, she struggled with. So my question is, what makes Justice Jack, uh, Jack uh, pardon me, uh, Justice um, Barrett more qualified than Justice Brown? So first of all, what does your shirt say? I can't see that. Trump 22, 24 years in prison. What? Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. That's, what the world? It. But we could talk about that in a second. Um, I, oh I was like, my god! Double. Bro. I was like, "Are you a Trump fan or not?" Because, yeah, obviously not. What? Um, yeah, I mean, how is? By the way, how is Katanji Brown Jackson's Ivy League credentials impressive if she got in with affirmative action? Why is that impressive? And by the way, Amy Coney Barrett did her entire hearing without a shred of notes in front of her. You remember that? She had nothing but a notepad, all from memory. Katanji Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is? Well. Right. Um, you want? Well. My counter to that is that we shouldn't really be seeing the world in black and white. Um, and a woman is, it's more than what meets the eye for a definition. Um, no, it's not. No, we should see the world through male and female. Yeah. Why? Definitely. Yeah. Well, why? Because yeah. I live in reality, not in Narnia or some sort of weird created academic abstract space that doesn't exist so why shouldn't a person be socially welcome to identify with a uh, gender outside of the binary well, anyone can pretend to be something they're not but that doesn't yeah. make them the thing that they're not can i be black no oh but why can't i socially become black blackface right i could pretend wear camouflage masquerade as something that i'm not right how's but, that different than a trans person race and gender are two completely separate things. They have nothing to do with each other and the 
existence of being transgender does not imply the existence of being transracial. So you can, you can pretend to say that you have ovaries when you don't, but you can't put makeup on to pretend to be a black person. What transgender women are claimed to have ovaries? Uh, there's lots of men that pretend to have ovaries. In fact, the CDC guidance says right now that men can chest feed. Do you think men can chest feed? That's not the sole criterion for being. So let me ask you a question. What is a woman? A woman is someone who identifies as one. Answer the question yes. without saying the word woman. You can't say the word woman. That's, that's called circular reasoning. It's like saying a tree is something that looks like a tree. So I'll ask again, what is a woman? A woman is a person who lives a lifestyle aligned with feminine characteristics, not necessarily your chromosomes or your genitals. So, so someone who just wears a dress. So what you are doing is you are reducing womanhood to a costume. Wow. Destroying them. No. Um, so, are you suggesting that, like, a transgender woman goes about her day pretending to be a woman, but then when she gets home, she starts acting like a man? No, delusional in every part of life, I understand that, but that doesn't mean they're not delusional. Can, I mean, there, there's a series of mental conditions where you could pretend to be a wolf. Can you be trans species too? Does, does your own mental condition dictate external reality, yes or no? Not necessarily. Okay, then why do you believe that a biological man can become something that he is not? Because he thinks it. Because gender is not interchangeable with sex. Yeah, right. So there are zero genders. There are only two sexes. Gender is a made-up term that started in the academy in the 1960s. Talking about sex, which is the only thing that actually can be proven and that matters, X, 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 Y, I will ask the question again, why is it that a man can suddenly become a dress and can be treated exactly the same as a woman that is biologically, not just biologically different, but somebody that has a different brain, a different hormonal system, menstruate, have children, I'll be very honest with you. It is so unbelievably insulting to women to have men have to lecture that all it takes is some weird dude with testosterone can put makeup on, wear a thong and a dress, and he suddenly becomes a woman. Here's at the essence of the issue. But Charlie Kirk, hey, he's telling the truth. Like I said, it should be just man and woman, like he said, anybody can, can just like you can have a woman that want to be a man. You can have a, a man that want to be a woman. Like he said, anybody can, you know, any man can put on a dress, put on makeup, and then run around, and then he want to be treated as a woman. And it just don't work that way. Just like I seen a video where it was this man, and since he uh, dressed as a woman and he wanted to be a woman, he thought he can go into the women bathroom. Like, no, you cannot do that. You can't do that because at the end of the day, you are still a man. So and, and that was a big problem when I seen that video. I'm like, you know, you, you can't do stuff like that just because you're a man that want to be a woman and think now since I'm uh, since you want to be a woman, you can do all woman things. You can go in women bathroom. You can do this. You No, it don't work that way. Like I said, I just feel like it should be man should be a man. And a woman should be a woman. And like Charlie Kirk said, that could be an insult to a lot of women. That a lot of these men, like a lot of these men doing it. But and another thing I want to say is that I at first I didn't really read that guy's shirt, the student's shirt, when he said 2024. I couldn't really see it, but he talking about 20 uh 20 to 2024, some years in in prison. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> this is this is crazy. So you would rather for Trump to go to prison and you would rather leave somebody like Cricket Joe Biden in office. Somebody that's already tearing this country up. You, you, you would rather leave him in office. And you want somebody like Trump to go to prison. Somebody that can help this country. Somebody that we pretty much all want, want him back in office. 
But uh, it, it's crazy. But Charlie Kirk said he was going to get to that. I hope he do because that, that, that T-shirt is crazy. And another thing I always say is that a lot of these students, they always wear something that uh, uh, that goes against Charlie Kirk or Candace Owens. Just like the last Gary told Candace Owens, you don't know what you're talking about. So you're going to tell somebody like Candace Owens she don't know what she's talking about. But you do. And you're a college student. And that's the thing with a lot of the college students. They just think that they know more than everybody. And if you don't agree with them, if you don't see the uh, uh, see things the way they see things, they'll snap on you. They'll try to go off on you, try to disrespect you. You know, and people like Kenneth Owens and uh, Charlie Kirk, they ain't gonna let that happen. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they is not gonna let that happen. But that, I can't believe he got that shirt on. I, I cannot believe it. But uh, let's keep it going, y'all. Your dude with testosterone can put makeup on, wear a thong and a dress, and he suddenly becomes a woman. No, that don't work. Here's at the essence of the issue, is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. Because at the end of the day, even if you do that, just like you, you get like uh, your private areas changed, you get all of that stuff done, you're going to have people that they're still going to say, but you were still a man. You were still a boy first. You was never a woman. You just got all that stuff. So people, especially like uh, guys, are still going to treat you the same because they're going to be like, nah, bro, you a man. I don't care if you just switch to a woman. You, you was born a man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Charlie Kirk, he's spot on with this right here. He is spot on. You don't stop being the thing that you were born. That's right. You don't get to determine your reality yep. by a stroke of the will. Yep. I don't deny for a second that the trans person thinks that they are. Certain people think that they're younger than they are. Some people think they're taller than they are. Some people think they're richer than they are. Some people think they're innocent when they're not, like Bob Menendez. There's plenty of delusional people in this world. It's up for society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality. It is for us to not allow us to be reigned under the tyranny of somebody's imagination. Do you have a response? And then we'll wrap it up. Is he going to say anything? Right. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Right. I appreciate you being here tonight. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Right, next question. And give it up for him. That's not easy to do at a conservative event. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. It's like he was kind of crying. It's like, man. Thank you. Wow. Wow, he was in tears. I'm like, whoa. But you know that that's the thing it is when you get into those type of situations. It's just I don't like the fact that that a lot of the college students do that. Like if if you want to have a debate with somebody like Charlie Kirk them, cool, have a debate. But don't you don't have to be an a-hole about it. You don't have to try to uh tell them they don't know what the, they talking about. You don't have to be that extra. You know what I'm saying? So like can his own say all the time is that okay you want to talk to me like this you want to get your 15 minutes of fame and all of that you want to get your youtube moment go right ahead and that's what a lot of them try to do instead of just having a respectable debate and you can agree to disagree but a lot of them try to be you know uh hard here they try to talk back be very very rude and it's just crazy to me but, man, like I said, Charlie Kirk made a lot, a lot of great points, man. A lot of great points. Uh, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. If y'all like to see me do more Charlie Kirk, which I have done a lot of Charlie Kirk videos. I haven't did uh, a few of them in a while. But if y'all like to see me do more of these type of videos right here, let me know down below in the comment section. I want to thank you all for watching, especially the ones that made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.